This is May 21st, 2019, in my Zone 7, North Carolina Garden. And an update on the blueberries. I had been watching the three different varieties that I have to see which I want to get more of and propagate. So these first three here are O'Neill blueberry and I have them uh, I have them covered with uh, wildlife netting to keep the birds from getting them now um, it likes to it likes to also snag snakes so every uh, end of the day I come and I do an inspection I check everywhere to be sure uh, because um, any any time that I can get them, I can release them and help them along. Um, I do that. So morning and night, I check for snakes. But I mean, it's an extra chore. But it's uh, something that I I need to do in order to use this responsibly. Um, I like the fact that um, the garden snakes and the rat snakes take care of mice and voles, so I'm aware that they are helpers. Um, I have some dahlias planted in here. Um, have several, the, oh, the light is, the modeling of the light is, is interfering, I know with um, seeing them well. Uh, and they are a little parched. We've had temperatures in the 90s already. So I'll be watering these and I think they'll, they'll do better. But back to the blueberries. So the O'Neills are a nice large blueberry. And um, at first I thought that the fruit set was not as good, but there's something to be said for large berries like that. And from that first bush, I'm sorry for all the movement. And that first bush produced this as a first picking. And I have um, nine shrubs in here. So I'm very happy about that. Anyway, um, one, two, three O'Neills. And here are the uh, sunshine blue which I thought were my favorite because they had such a heavy, uh, heavy fruit set and they flowered early and the bees just went crazy for them because they were the first ones out. Um, I have had many reasons why I thought this would have been the bush to keep. It has a smaller leaf, a smaller growth habit, certainly smaller than uh, than the O'Neills. The O'Neills are a larger a larger shrub and I expect these things to get probably eight or ten feet tall. They could. Um, it helps that I have them in wood chips. Uh, the wood chips help to keep the pH low. They prefer uh, pH lower than uh, than the seven than the uh, seven pH that I have in the rest of of the property here. So the planting hole included peat and uh, compost, and then they're planted in this, which um, you know makes new it makes new soil as I top it up and always keep it. Uh, going with a fresh layer of wood chips on top. Uh, this also is a sunshine blue and this is my third sunshine blue. So I do love them. I do love the sunshine blue but I don't think first picking is gonna look like this on these. Yeah, maybe so. Just only the, the smaller berries I think is what I'm evaluating here. This other third variety is Jubilee and 
Jubilee has the larger leaf, like the first O'Neill, but then smaller berries, kind of a combination of those two things. Um, it's a pretty shrub. Now these three end up in the shade of trees that we are going to remove probably in about 30 days. Um, they get uh, the late afternoon sun where these others get sun most of the day because they get the morning and the afternoon. So possibly, so possibly the Jubilees will have as large a fruit if they were in full sun. I don't know that. Anyway, that's the update for now. I hope that made sense. <laughs> and uh, it's my garden journal. This is how I know what I did when and how. Thank you for watching.